right. Good afternoon to you. I didn't make the, the morning in time. I missed it by about 20 minutes. For those of you that are members of Crossroad Baptist Church, you'll recognize where I'm at for our Crossroad Connection today. If you've never been in our sanctuary, this is uh, the choir loft of our sanctuary. And behind me is our baptistry. And in our baptistry, we have uh, some, uh, uh, some rocks and uh, this stone working behind me. And in that stone working behind me, you will see a stained glass cross. One of the benefits of being on staff at Crossroad is that anytime I want, I can, from just a short walk from my office, I can find myself in our sanctuary looking at this cross behind me. And I like to come and sit on the front pew of our sanctuary. Lights are off in here right now. I've got the windows open so there's some natural lighting. I've got a lamp on me right now so that you can see me. But when I come in here and, and I just spend some time in prayer, this cross uh, is so captivating. I, I find myself sometimes coming in here and just staring at this cross. Uh, there's no lighting. It might look like it is backlit, but that is the sunlight shining through on this beautiful day. And so I'll come in here and I'll just watch as the sun shines through that cross and I'll think about all that God has done for me. The scripture tells us to be still and know that I am God. And certainly when I am in this place by myself, I find that that is an easy thing to do. It's an easy thing for me to do to come in here and to be still and to spend some time alone with God. And so I had the chance to do that a little bit this morning before I came and, and got online to speak to you. And uh, so I just thought to myself, you know, for our Crossroad Connection today, I just wanted to share this place with you uh, for just a few moments. I hope you're doing well, and I uh, wanted to just share with you a, a scripture. Our passage today is from Lamentations, and uh, Lamentations chapter 3 is an interesting chapter. Uh, the narrator there is, is all one person, and he begins Lamentations chapter 3 uh, talking about the the suffering that he's endured and the things that he's experienced, the, the wrath of God that he's experienced in, in his sin and in his brokenness. And he, he talks about all these things. And then he also talks about, at the beginning, at the end of the first part of, of Lamentations chapter 3, uh, the faithfulness of God that he has experienced. And then after that, the, the, the last few verses of that section we're going to look at today, verses 22 and through 24, after he talks about God's faithfulness, then he talks about God's goodness and he talks about God's sovereignty. And he, he prays for renewal um, and, he, and, he, and he, he's reminded at the end of that chapter of the confidence that he has in the fact that God is, has concern for him and the fact that God has concern for his people Israel. And so it's just an awesome scripture, uh, chapter of scripture. But specifically I wanted to share with you this morning as I hope what comes to you as a word of encouragement, uh, Lamentations chapter 3, uh, verse 22 through 24. And he says this, he says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. And some translations uh, translate that, the faithful love of the Lord. The faithful love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Or maybe it says, uh, his compassions never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. It says, the Lord is my portion. That is what my soul says. Therefore, I will hope in him. This morning, what I want to say to you this afternoon, I should say, is that God is faithful. He is faithful, and his steadfast love for you is faithful. His mercies never end. His compassions never end. God is a God that can be trusted. He is a God who is always there, and he is a God who is continually expressing love and mercy toward you. And I don't know about you, but uh, I needed to be reminded of that today. And, um, and I, I, I trust, I, I know in my heart that there are many people out there that need to be reminded of a God who is faithful. Over the last several years of ministry, God's taught me a lot about faithfulness, about being faithful, being faithful in the small things. And in my uh, struggle to 
to be faithful. God was always reminding me of his faithfulness. And so if you're watching this today, I just want to say to you, you can be faithful to the Lord because he is a God who is faithful to you. I don't know about you, but it encourages me to know that our God is a faithful God. It encourages me to know that our God is a God who uh, is able to take our faithfulness and, and, and pull out of us faithfulness. Sometimes God has to stretch me, and, uh, and sometimes God has to work on me and be patient with me as I struggle with my faithfulness. But we don't, have to, we don't have that same relationship with him. And he may wait on you and he may wait on you to, to get to a place that he wants you to be. But we don't have to wait on him. He is always the God that we need him to be. He is always a faithful God. A God who, whose love for you is steadfast and whose mercies for you are always faithful. His mercies are new every morning. And so I don't know what yesterday looked like. For you, we don't know what tomorrow is going to look like for you. I don't know what your today looks like. But what I can tell you is that God's mercies are going to be new for you tomorrow, just like they were new for you today. And so I hope that blesses your heart. I want you to know uh, to be, I want to ask that you would be praying for us as a church. Um, I hope that you've already been in prayer for us. We've had a few folks in our congregation test positive for covid and uh, we thank God that uh, their symptoms um, have been uh, minimal, uh, fever and, and things like that, fatigue, uh, but they're all doing well. They are getting better. Uh, however, I received a call last night, and I would ask that you would pray for a dear sister uh, in Christ, Miss Vera Cox, uh, who gave me permission to, to ask you to pray for her. She uh, found out that she tested positive for covid and ended up in the hospital last night. And so uh, we're keeping in touch with her and, and just keeping in touch with her about her condition and seeing how she's doing. Thankfully, she doesn't have the shortness of breath. Uh, what seems to be going on with her is some pneumonia and, um, and just fatigue, and she's tired. And so if you're watching this and you're a member of Crossroad or if you're watching this and, and you're just a fellow believer in Christ, I would ask that you would lift her up in prayer. And uh, I really appreciate you doing that along with me. And we know that God is faithful. And so we're trusting in him for her sake today. Also, just to remind you that due to what's been going on in our congregation, uh, we have been moving, we moved last Sunday's service to our online forum with our um, Facebook and YouTube. We will be doing that again this Sunday. And so our services will be online only, no one on the campus uh, for gatherings. And um, our office is still open. We are self-quarantining and keeping ourselves sort of tucked away in our, in our little cubbies of our office, uh, down in the offices. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's our plans for this coming week. Our service will, will be broadcast at 9 a.m. And, uh, you know, again, we believe that God is faithful. Uh, we are trusting him. We know that uh, the, the steps that we've taken, the precautions that we've taken, as a congregation have helped to uh, keep this uh, minimalized and we're thankful for that and um, we just ask that you would continue to pray for us as we lead and uh, pray for those who are, are getting over their sickness and again to be reminded more than anything else that we serve a faithful God whose love is faithful towards us so I hope that you're well I hope that you are blessed today I uh, hope that it was nice for you to, to kind of see our sanctuary, for me to share this beautiful place that is near and dear to my heart. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all very soon. God bless. We'll talk to you soon.